Hi, my name is Ivy and welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a makeup tutorial using all products from the brand Kevin Aquan. Kevin Aquan was an iconic, maybe the most iconic makeup artist, especially in the 90s. He worked with a lot of the supermodels for those of you that are old enough. Linda Evangelista, Cindy Crawford, um, Naomi Campbell. So he has sadly passed away, but his brand lives on and the products are some of my favorite. Some of my favorite because I use them in both my freelance kit. I'm a working makeup artist. That is my full-time like real job. And then in my own life, you know, on my own face when I'm getting ready to go out to work and I want to make my own face look nice. I have purchased all of these products with my own money. Kevin Aquan does not send me products. I am not on that PR list. Um, but I do have a pro discount because I am a working makeup artist. So I do order these products with my own money, but I do get a pro discount. So I just want to make sure I said that. And also if you are a working makeup artist as well, um, just know that they do have a pro program. So please apply if you love these products as much as I do. As long as you have clean hands, totally apply your skin tint with your fingers. I honestly like it best that way. It's very thin consistency. So you would probably get some brush strokes if you used a brush. You could also use a sponge, but I think that would really sheer it out. This is already like very sheer coverage. I am light zero two, same thing. Um, and so as you'll see, the coverage is very sheer. I mean, it's a tin of moisturizer. I would not even call this a CC cream, a BB cream. For one thing, it doesn't have SPF, which is kind of the differentiator there. So definitely make sure you put on SPF first if you're going to be wearing this. Um, but it blends in really nicely. I feel like I don't have to blend this as much as some other like tinted moisturizer type products. Um, it leaves your skin dewy. It's definitely not a matte one. So if you're a matte finish person, you need not apply. I'm going to use the Iconic Sensual Skin Enhancer. This is technically a concealer, but I know a lot of people use this as foundation. It can be mixed with things, thinned down. They say to get like a grain of rice size. Um, I'm gonna show you like, I'm gonna dot it on the main area that I'm trying to conceal, but it is definitely one of, if not the most concentrated like concealer products I've ever used. So I think I actually might use a little end just to show you, like look, like that is very opaque coverage. So please know that if you are not trying to cover something entirely the way I am, it's not messing around. <laughs> you know, I've always thought that like RCMA um, color process foundation was probably the most full coverage um, or definitely like the Cryolon, um, Cryolon uh, Dermacolor Concealer, but I don't know, this might be more so than that. So I'm trying not to like buff it out too much on the darkest parts of my melasma because I really want to cover it. Um, so I am like going back in, layering that on there. Honestly, I should have color corrected if I wanted this entirely covered, but I don't know. I'm just showing you the two different levels of coverage in these products. I pretty much went from like zero to a hundred with those two ends of the spectrum. You've got a tin of moisturizer and then you have the most opaque high coverage concealer ever. Okay, I did not put the central skin enhancer under here because as you can see, it's a darker color. It matches up here, but it wouldn't be good for under eye brightening. So instead I'm using the Kevin Aquan Ethereus, Etherealist <laughs> concealer. Uh, I think the lightest shade, yep, 01. Um, this is pretty medium, I would say in coverage. That's why I really like this on almost everyone um, in my, my freelance makeup artistry job because you know it works well for my older clients that you know like a tart shape tape would be like out of control coverage and dry on them um but it also works you know on my you know teenage girls that you know they don't really have a whole lot of dark circles but they do like that bright under eye i don't know i love a full coverage concealer for like this but in that under eye area the thicker it is the more textured it's going to look when you smile or if God forbid you have any sort of fine lines or wrinkles. So I love that this is a thin consistency with a medium coverage that is buildable, but I don't know, I wouldn't really want any more than this. So as you can see, I'm using the opposite end of this uh, A Cosmetics brush to just like tap it in. Um, and I do think I need to use it to like brighten some other areas of my face. That central skin enhancer is like 
pretty dark. So let's just brighten up the center. Maybe do like those cheekbone area that I still have melasma over there. So just tap, tap, tapping. Anywhere you need to build up your coverage or keep it concentrated somewhere, make sure you're tapping, dabbing, whatever you want to call it. Anywhere you want to blend it out, buff it out, then you can use those you know, big circular motions. But if you don't want to move a product around, do this, not this. Here's your tip for the today. So when I was on the Kevin Aquan website, I happened to read in the product description for the um, Molten Lip. Is that what this is called? The Molten Lip Color. Um, this is the shade Dolly. I love it, you'll see why. Um, but I read that they were suggesting you to use this as a cream blush, which I was like, why haven't I done that? What a good idea. And I love, love, love cream blush. This is a matte shade, so it's gonna look really nice. It doesn't have any like shimmer in it. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to dot this on my cheek. No, I think it'll be better for me to like put it on my hand and work from there because I think it is very long wearing. And I think if you dot it on like that, um, that you might not be able to move it around. So I'm going to quickly do that with a brush. You could use your fingers too. I just wanted to make sure I could distribute this nicely. I've never done this. Like I've never used this product as a cream blush. So I decided to try it live while recording and so that if it failed, I would regret it. And yeah, I really like it. Um, I don't know why I don't put liquid lipsticks on my cheeks as blush more often, especially the ones that maybe I don't like love as much to wear on my lips right now. Repurpose them as a cream blush. I'm full of tips today. All right, very nice. I enjoy that, okay. So, now, I'm gonna show you a cool product before I go on with powder. It's our last like liquid cream. It is the Glass Glow Face Illuminate, Illuminator? Illuminator, not Eliminator. Yeah, it illuminates your face. Um, glass Glow Face Illuminator. This, um, it says face, but I've used this on someone's body. I used it on a model for a photo shoot and it was so beautiful. It really gives you that actually wet looking highlight versus like sparkle. Um, so I'm putting it on my finger. I don't know what happened on my middle finger. I'm sorry, that's what I did. And I'm going to put it where I would put a highlighter, but I'm gonna just tap, don't rub, because you just put that cream blush on there for one thing. We don't wanna move that around. But yeah, look at that. It's, it almost looks like, you know, natural, like humid skin in the summer. That's what I'm always kind of going for, summer night skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so like, I don't do as much up here just cause like it really can look sweaty. Um, so I'm just showing you like, if you want to put it in those normal like highlight areas, just now you're going to look very dewy, like right here, a little bit. But yeah, I really enjoy that type of like dewy, like I said, humid glow. Um, and this product feels great for that. This is solar quartz. There's a bunch of other shades. There's like a pinky one, like a rose quartz, there's bronze. So, depending on your skin tone. I mean, once again, of course I have the lightest one. You can also put it on your lips. Why don't you just do that? Cause it feels just kind of like a lip balm or a lip gloss, but it's not sticky. I know some people use lip gloss to get this effect, but this is not a sticky sensation where lip gloss definitely would be. Okay, I set everything with powder selectively. Like I didn't touch this area, but I set like in the middle where you don't really want to have too much shine. And I set, because I'm done using like liquids and creams, and I want to show you what I think is like, yeah, it is the most iconic Kevin Aquan product. Um, and it is their sculpting powder. So basically contouring powder and look no further. This is the best contouring powder I've ever found. It's the most realistic shadow. Um, it's easy to work with where you don't like get a huge stripe right out of the gate and then you're trying to fix it. It's just so good. So I am going to apply it. Um, where I would normally contour. So under the cheekbones, going rounded out towards the nose, more so than straight down to the mouth. That's how I like to contour. It looks more natural because really that is the shape of the bone structure underneath there is more of a rounded shape. It's not a straight jagged line. Um, this is gonna be pretty subtle because um, the rest of my makeup is more on the lighter side, I would say. So I'm just kind of showing you like where you would put it there, Forehead, I mean, here is something that I think is super important to remember. If you have a very tiny forehead, 
say your forehead's this versus this, you don't need to really do much up there. I mean, if, if you're trying to make something smaller, that's why you're contouring. But what if your forehead's already really small? You don't need to do that. Don't make your forehead invisible. So, I mean, I would say I have an average size forehead, so I'm just, you know, contouring an average amount. Um, you can do the jawline. Some days I skip that just because like in natural daylight, uh, it could look a little obvious. Did you see what I did there? I like did this. I always want to call that a turtle motion, but I don't know. Do turtles even do that in and out of their shell? Maybe. Um, so I do that to see where that definition of my jaw is getting lost. It's pretty easy to find these days. All right, um, you can do your nose if you want, I don't know. Nose contouring, I'll do it if I'm being photographed and if I'm being photographed straight on, but I don't know, I could take it or leave it. I don't care that much about nose contouring. Everyone's nose shape is weird. Nobody loves their nose, it is what it is. Okay, and see, so you know what? Now I think my nose just looks dirty. So I usually end up going back over and doing this anyways. Okay, so ready to move on to eyes. So I'm using the Kevin Aquan shadows um, from like the best palette ever, I'll link it below because it has the contouring powder I just used. It has um, shadows, it has their candlelit highlighter. It's just the best palette. I'm so glad they still make it because it's one of those things that I thought it was like limited edition, but it's still on there. So this is the um, Red Earth shadow from it. I have them depotted because I carry these in my kit, um, but I'm gonna use this It Cosmetics eyeshadow brush, smooth out my eye primer. So I already put eye primer on. And I'm gonna just um, throw this in the crease. I always say throw when I'm talking about this area, but that's because it's just so like casual. I don't know, I'm not trying to make this super precise. I don't do, you know, super cut creases hardly ever. Let's just be honest, ever, I never do those. Um, so it is all just kind of effortless, diffused, lived in makeup. Kind of like, you know, how some stylist uh, talk about creating lived-in hair. I would like to think I create lived-in makeup. Okay, so then the other shadow I'm gonna use is just on my lid. It's this like light pink color and I can't remember what it's called. So I'll, again, I'll link the palette below. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's, it's the pink shimmer shade in the palette. So I'm using my finger, again, middle finger, no reason, I'm sorry, I don't know why. So I'm using my finger because honestly, I don't have a clean flat eyeshadow brush over here. And also because um, you are gonna get a little more color payoff when you use your finger versus a brush. So uh, this could not be more imprecise. Are you noticing? Like, I feel like I'm almost being sloppy, but it's working. I mean, hopefully uh, good makeup shouldn't be hard to use and you should be able to, you know, use your fingers and, you know, use a little, little of your own uh, creativity when putting it on without having to do it a very specific way. Now I am using Kevin Aquan's, what most people would say, iconic mascara. It is the Volume Mascara or Le Volume, Le Mascara Volume. <laughs> but it has a very skinny brush. Um, it is what I would consider to be a tubing mascara, meaning that it, it comes off in like sheets, little tubes almost, um, when you remove it. I don't know if it is technically considered a tubing mascara, but it, comes off in a very distinctive way, not like regular mascara. So this is good for people that find you have oily lids, everything smudges, even if it's waterproof, try tubing mascara, try this one. So I like this mascara. Um, for my eyelashes, I don't love it. I like it, it's fine. It definitely builds volume, I will say that. I don't, um, I don't think I get as much separation as I might, I might like. I mean, I really like separation when I am looking for a mascara. So maybe just uh, consider that if you are like me and you like super separated fanned out lashes, this is gonna be a little more just like lush and voluminous. Um, it's great for the bottom because it's got that little brush. 
and it does that. That's actually like a pretty perfect winged liner guideline though. Okay, so I'm taking the Flesh Tone Lip Pencil in Blood Roses and I'm going to only line very selectively and I'm gonna smudge it out. So it is dark and we could totally go with this color. I love the color, but you'll see, I'm gonna lighten it up. Okay, so you see how I've smudged out a liner. I honestly really love this color, but I just wanna show you what it looks like um, when we use the same color we used on our cheeks, on our lips, which is Dolly in that Molten Lip. Uh, this is like on its last life. I really gotta scrape around there, but I love this color. It's like a, it's a rose and um, yeah, I currently feel like I can't get any out. There it is. So it's not too different than what we put on in intensity, I would say maybe, but it's a, uh, looks totally different over this lip liner. It's not as purple either. But I really, really like these molten lip colors. Um, in terms of liquid lipsticks, they do not feel dry on. They actually really last. I love the shades. I don't know why, but I feel like they're like gonna phase these out too. I think it's because they've been on sale and then they have like some new lip product now. I wish they wouldn't. These, I, these might be one of my favorite, if not my favorite, liquid lip. All right, I'm gonna fix one area there. But yeah, I mean, my lips are definitely matte, but they don't feel dry, I promise. Okay, so as like a final touch, I'm going to show you what the Celestial Skin, what is this called actually? It's like their very subtle highlighter. Celestial Powder and Candlelight. It is probably more similar, I would say, to the ambient lighting powders from Hourglass than it is like a highlighter. And I know I already have that highlight on, but I'll just do like a really light like wash. And normally I would not do that with a traditional highlighter either. Same with those ambient lighting powders. It's more of just like the soft, like diffused effect. See what I mean? I did get a little on my nose. Who am I? Who do I think I am? A youth? Okay. I hope you have enjoyed watching all of these Kevin Aquan products in action. I hope it's helped you if maybe you were considering purchasing one of these or you wanted to see a specific shade. Um, I will put the links of course down below. So if you do wanna grab any of these, um, you can shop those links. And I just wanna say thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.